Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another P.O. Box pickup slash comic book haul slash Star Wars talk video. Spoilers, alright? I'm going to mention some spoilers because I want to talk about Star Wars just a little bit. And I just want to say, I saw the movie for the second time this weekend and damn, I love The Force Awakens movie. I really, really do. I cannot wait to get it on Blu-ray and watch it many times. It, it just, um... You know, I, I love that it uh, brings up so many questions as well. Uh, like, I posted a picture on my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, go ahead and check the link below for that. But I showed a picture of Rey, and I called her Rey Skywalker. And it was like, oh, blah, 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 blah. it's not Rey Skywalker. Where the hell did you get that from? And people are saying it's Rey Kenobi. People are saying it's Rey Solo. I just love that the conversation exists. And I really think that, I'm going to say my favorite thing about this movie is that I love the new characters. I really, it's like I almost had forgotten about the older characters at some points during the film. I just really enjoyed it. Another thing I want to talk about really quick is that um, I'm a fan of the Jeremy Johns YouTube channel. I, I love watching his movie reviews. He's a great reviewer. I'll throw a link below in case you're living under a rock and you weren't already subscribed to his channel. There's a spider. Just killed it. Okay. But anyway, um, yeah, so his, his YouTube channel's great, man. Uh, he did a video talk, because he does movie reviews for everything, but he's admittedly a geek and a collector, too, which is really, really cool. Uh, so it makes it just really fun to watch his channel, and it's from the, the perspective of somebody who has the closest perspective to me without being me, you know? Anyway, he did a video talking about the despecialized editions of the Star Wars uh, original trilogy, and... I had I had to hunt it down because I have been wanting to see the original trilogy for ages now, and and Charlita won with the help of the wife. She had to do a lot of digging and everything. I asked for her help, and we found it. So uh, it's a pretty big file, man. You're looking at about 50 gigabytes, and it came out really. It looks pretty badass. The only thing is that there are some parts that really look like found footage that didn't come up really looking HD like the rest of it did, but for the most part, it's amazing watching the theatrical version and then just really coming to respect the original trilogy a lot more without seeing the high, the, the extra CGI and stuff, because seeing, uh, and all we watched was A New Hope so far, so we have, uh, you know, Empire and Jedi to watch still, but just watching A New Hope and just seeing just the way it, it was originally made, it, it, it just looks so good. It's really, really ahead of its time, and it just really makes you appreciate the craft and work that went into it, you know? And, and other annoying things that I really hated are gone, you know? Like when Obi-Wan Kenobi sneaks up on the Tusken Raiders and he does that weird, wow, you know, in the new specialized ed special edition. You know, before it was like a monster. He sounded like a monster. So I really like little things like that. Not seeing the whole mess of things in the background. You know, I actually kind of liked some of those little bits. But for the most part, I really love watching the the original trilogy as close to how they're actually made. So if you haven't checked out the Despecialized Edition, check those out. And my comic book haul. Now, I'm a bit behind on my comics. I've been away for... Uh, for uh, this is two weeks, so this is this week's worth and last week's worth, and I have a lot over here. So I just want to show these off really, really, really quick. Uh, and uh, so, uh, what we have here? All new Wolverine. I don't know what it is, but I think X-23 in this Wolverine costume is fine as hell. I, I don't totally understand why. Uh, I feel that way about it, but I do. Amazing Spider-Man number six. I'm really liking Amazing Spider-Man. Slot's just killing it all over the place. Uh, we have Astonishing Ant-Man, written by Nick Spencer. Really enjoy this. Uh, Batman Europa, aka Batman Joker Team Up. Really digging that. Love Jim Lee's artwork more than anything. Batman and Robin Eternal. This has been a fun weekly issue that I've been really enjoying. Captain America White. We get the return of Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale right there. So this is the final book of that. And we have Carnage over here. And, and please don't comment on any of these comics, by the way. I spent money on these. Don't spoil anything. Uh, we got Chewbacca, uh, Obi-Wan, and Anakin. Had to pick that one up. Spidey number two. Enjoying that. Spider-Man 2099. That's been fun. And Wonder Woman. 
by the Finches, which I've really been enjoying. So that was from last week, and then this week's, again, don't spoil it, Batman and Robin Eternal, number 14, Detective Comics, number 8, you can tell I like my Batman, um, Star Wars Darth Vader, and I'm trying to keep these in order. I'm like really OCD about these things. I have to keep them in alphabetical order. Doctor Strange. I've been enjoying Doctor Strange. Guardians of Infinity. This has been a good read. Invader Zim. Just like the cartoon. I love Invader Zim. And I also have uh, Squee and, uh, and of course, um, what was the other? Uh, ah, Johnny the Homicidal Maniac, too, from way back in the day. Invincible Iron Man over here. And then Star Wars. Ooh. Wookie fight. like that. And then I had to pick up the Spider-Man Deadpool. Because it was written by Kelly and McGinnis. So, I, you know, Kelly and McGinnis, I had to get it. So that is my haul of comic books. Yeah, I've got so much reading to do. I'm excited. I'm going to take... Actually, I'm probably going to catch up on these. I'm going to take a break. Uh, probably starting sometime around next week. So I'm going to be gone for a little bit. And uh, I'll be back into it. But, you know, every four months or so, something like that, i got to take a, take a little bit of a rest. And... Um, and I'll be back to it with the reviews and all. All right, this is the first letter I'm reading right here. This is from Clifton, Illinois. And... All right. And as far as uh, I do have the package ready to go for Jordan, uh, so I should have the Batmobile out to you. If not today, I think I sent you a message saying I'd send it today, but I'm running just a little bit late. Also working on the Mangs EP for my band. So, uh, working on that, and I had to send files over so the bass player could practice and listen to those, so it's kind of set me back a little bit, so tomorrow for sure, Nicholas. Sorry, I meant to ship out today. Okay, dear Shortimus Prime, my name is Nathan Kahn. I am 11 years old, and I will be asking some questions. Do you like the big time, uh, the big time down Spider-Man? What is your oldest Marvel Legends? Mine is the movie Daredevil. What is your favorite Marvel Legends? Mine is the Scarlet Spider. Which do you like better? Mar uh, Mar uh, um, three questions. All right, so three questions is the limit, you guys. I will answer your first three questions, and then the rest I'll just read, okay? So the first one, he said, I'll be asking some questions. Do you like the big time letdown Spider-Man? Actually, I do think that that figure isn't as... Uh, as far as articulation-wise, it's not that bad. And in really low light settings, the paint job isn't so terrible. But I will say, indefinitely, for me personally, I don't know about you, I'd say it's a big time letdown. All right, and what is your oldest Marvel Legends? Uh, my oldest, my very first Marvel Legend was the Series Three Wolverine. Uh, his is the movie Daredevil. Uh, what is your favorite Marvel Legend? Uh, is the Build a Figure Sentinel? I gotta give it to the Build a Figure Sentinel, especially because those wires are made from. Base strings. Isn't that awesome? Damn. Anyway, uh, and that was Jesse Falcon's idea too. Anyway, the Scarlet Spider-Man, which do you like better? Marvel uh, Select or Marvel Legends? I like. Uh, I do like Legends more. I like Marvel Legends better because I only have one in Select. What is your favorite uh, Diamond Select figure? Mine is the Electro because it's my only one. And can you please give me some art action figures? Uh, you don't like, I'm sorry, I keep the ones that I like. And then I live in Clifton, Illinois, and my P.O. Box is, and he has his dress. Questions, could you please give me a shout out and say this to Gamora Marvel Legends Groot Wave. Why no ankle pivot? Love your videos. All right, man. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, cool. And what was your name? I never got a name. I never got a name, but thank you so much for the letter. All right, this is from Seth from Palmdale, California. Alright, and this says, Dear Shortimus, with the Black Adam figure review, wonderful and excellent, I will be making a Kinney Cuman Super Phoenix figure out of the Black Adam. Also, can you give me some customizing tips? Thanks, keep up with the work, P.S., I too love sexy ladies. Sincerely, Seth. Ah, we have a mutual interest there, huh, Seth? Yeah. All right, so, um, customizing tips, I guess, like Tester's Acrylic Paints or Citadel Games Workshop. Ooh, all right. This is, oh, okay, so this is what you, reminds me of Majin Boo, but it's not. Oh, all right. So this is, so this is your, uh, this is looking like what you're going to be making. I'm not really familiar with this character, to be honest with you, but it does look cool. It does look cool. All right, all right. Thank you very much, Seth. 
Okay, and here's the last one. Uh, this is from Carlisle and San Antonio, the San Antonio area. And I've been to San Antonio, Texas, so that is cool. It was very hot. It was so hot, but not as bad as the South, man. The South is like humid and, and super hot. Like, I, I would take the scorching heat of Texas over the blazing. Uh, or the suffocating humidity, man. It's, it's insane. All right, this looks like a, a promo package right here. JWC Comics, Futures Unknown. And I still, and um, St. Jacob was the name of Michael Pasquale's book. I still need to read volume two. All right, so uh, look, I'm gonna, so here's this card. Justin Carlisle, JWC Comics. And then JWC Comics, nice art. I'm liking that, I'm liking that. Ooh, there's the Facebook page right over here. Pretty nice, look pretty nice. Gonna show it off. Ching, 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 ching. Just going to the nipplers, all right. And it says here, uh, dear Shardimus Prime, greetings from San Antonio, Texas. This is Justin with JWC Comics. I am writing you in hopes of getting on a PO box pickup video and to express how much I have enjoyed your videos over the last few years. I am an independent comic writer slash artist, and I in the last five years have got back into collecting statues and figures while doing the convention circuit. In my collecting, I have found your videos to be by far the best figure reviews. Thank you very much. You have good taste. You have very good taste. I collect mostly Kotobukiya, uh, Bishojo, and Hot Toys 1-6 scale. Again, good taste. And I try not to buy until I see what Shardimus has to say about it. It saddens me to hear about your money troubles due to YouTube's reworking, and I plan to be a new patron to your channel by the time you read this. Awesome, man. Thank you. Um, I have enclosed some art and promo material to add to your collection. Uh, a concept of my characters Kai in the blue and Riley Dawn in the red for my next upcoming titles. Features unknown. A sketch of Samus in the light suit and ice and a sketch I've done using the Mark 17 Hot Toys as reference along with my own colored variant. When I get some time, I would love to do a version of Shardimus Primebot. Until then, here are the customary three questions. See? Three questions, man. Alright, very good. Uh, question one. Uh, would you rather have Spider-Man's powers or a life-sized Transformer as your personal vehicle? I gotta give it up to that being the best question ever. Like, I'm, I'm not, I'm not even kidding right now. That is the best question anybody has ever asked me. Would you rather have Spider-Man's powers or a life-sized Transformer as your personal vehicle? Oh my god. Oh my god. Jeez, can you imagine having like your own like if Optimus Prime was your ride like or Sideswipe? I would probably pick Sideswipe. Oh my God! You know what? I'm gonna give it up to taking the Spidey powers. I want the Spidey powers. I want the Spidey powers. I can ride in a car. You know, maybe not. You know, Kuntosh, but I, I. You know, I can. Yeah, I'm g I'm gonna take the Spidey powers. I want the Spidey powers. Fantastic question. That was like that, that was honestly my favorite question ever. <laughs> okay, question two: Is there a figure you want but will never get? Too expensive or too rare? The Hot Toys Hulkbuster is my example. I would. That that was the first thing I thought of too. Is the hot the Hot Toys Hulkbuster because if it's about the same price as of a down payment on a car. I gotta put it towards the car. It's around the price of a down payment. I mean, it's a low down payment, but still, I mean, that's like a down payment for a car, man. I, I that's too much. That's not, yeah. That for me, that's there's gonna be too much buyer's regret with that. But I will be reviewing it. I will find a way to review that damn thing. Uh, number three, what has surprised you most about be about becoming big on YouTube? The thing that has surprised me most is bringing joy to families. That was something that I just didn't expect. I just didn't expect whole families. I mean, because originally the YouTube channel started out so vulgar, and then I started cleaning things up as uh, my cousin's kids and family members, you know, kids are, are watching and stuff. I'm like, ooh, okay. Now I feel like a douche because I don't cuss in front of them when I'm at the family party, so why would I cuss in front of them if I'm on the Internet, knowing that they're there, you know? So that's why I had to take that down. Um, so... Seeing families get happy to meet me it, it is, it, and just hearing about, you know, I've had a couple patrons mention that, you know, I love I love watching a show with my son and I love watching with my kids and we have a great time. Just meeting people in person, the families, making whole families happy. Holy hell, man. That's like, that's something I just didn't expect to ever happen. And it's, and it's, it's the most rewarding 
part of the YouTube channel. I guess aside from it being my job, but I mean, really, out of all the perks of getting getting toys sent to me from manufacturers, meeting people in person like Bruce Campbell, and like that stuff is amazing. But making actually having an impact on a whole family—that's like, dude, I never thought I would ever do that. It's amazing, and, and just seeing them all get happy and stuff, and knowing that I'm part of a memory that they can share forever—that's like, that's really cool to me. Anyway, yeah, the ego likes it. Yeah, the ego's so happy. It's all self-centered stuff, man. It's all about me. Anyway, uh, thanks for the answers. Keep up the good work, and if you would please plug my page, uh, facebook.com/jcwjwc.comics. Toys are hella sick, Justin. Thank you so much, Justin. And very good questions, by the way. And wow, really nice artwork. Yes. Ooh. If I don't remember to throw up a plug, it's only because I'm rushing out of here to head into the city. Oh, here's an original pencils. Nice. And we have Samus right here. Really nice art, man. And nice paper stock, too. I really like this. Wow, these look really clean. And then here's the first one. Looks really nice. I really like this red one right over here, too. I'm sorry, I don't remember the names off the top of my head. It just... Yeah. Great stuff, Justin. Wow, really cool. I gotta look up your... I wanna see your comic, man. I wanna check it out. I love seeing original writing and artwork like this. It's amazing. Alright, you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, stay tuned. I will have my Marvel Legends Spider-Man 2016 wave reviews up soon. Um, JC has gotten a hold of all the brand new Marvel Legends like before me, which which is very cool for him so you gotta check out his channel to see if you, if you want to check out reviews of those check that out and uh... and he's got reviews of the civil war captain america wave over there too so check all that stuff out uh... you can see the figures up over there i now have my reviews up shortly afterwards alright i'll catch you guys later peace